Hello everyone. We have the Brock Heary sitting right here. We are going to start fixing the seams on the vertical stabilizers. I have a chunk of Aves mixed up. You guys have already seen it on this build, so I'm not going to bore you with it. But I got to get in here and fix some pretty bad seams on this beast. This thing didn't sit up all the way right. It's on there. It's on there pretty good. I used epoxy, not super glue. I can see where I messed up the epoxy and I'm gonna have to sand all that. So let me quit rambling and let me get a gluing. Uh puttying. Not gluing, already glued. I don't know what's wrong with me today. It's the day after Thanksgiving and I just spent four or five hours doing the lights on the house. Was it four or five hours? It took about that total. So, I'll take the video camera out later and do a buzz over that so you guys can see that. But anyhow, I'm going to stop. I'll come back after I put the Aves on. Alright folks, got the Aves on her. I put it on pretty thick on purpose. If Here, you'll be able to see it better if I do one of my famous zoom-ins. You can see I put it on pretty thick on purpose. Okay? And I did that for a reason. I plan on doing a lot of sanding and I don't want any of the seams coming through so by overloading the Aves I can sand it down and sand it smooth I don't have any panel lines to worry about I don't have any of that <clears throat> so I just want to get that stuff on there and get her sanded okay and she's taking shape tomorrow I should get that sanding done if it comes out to where I think it's good I can put these final two resin pieces on and start scratch building some guns. I've already got the brass tube set aside for that. I'll have to go out and cut some, but that's not a big deal. She's getting there. Yep, she's getting there. I'll get that sanded tomorrow, too. I got some time. Don't have to go to work for three more days. Two more, dang, it's Friday. Oh well, back later. Hello, everybody. I'm here with Mr. Brock Yuri Cruiser. Not quite pew pew time, no guns. Gotta get guns before I can pew pew. Guns are coming very, very soon. I want to talk about a few things. I got the Aves work done. Okay. I can tell this one's going to be a bit of a pain to get the seams done. Um, Aves work is done. What you see on it now, and you can see it well on the undersides, is I hit this thing this morning with a very thick coat of Mr. Surfacer 500 and I can tell I got it I just slathered that stuff on there reason being is I noticed there were some gaps in my Aves a little notches here and there and that stuff will do it now I've decided at the end of my model end of my build videos I'm going to start giving the kits ratings I'm not going to do them at the beginning and let me explain where this is coming from this kit not recommended for your intermediate or beginner builder. I'm not saying I'm an advanced builder, I'm more of a stubborn builder, which means I'll keep working on the dang thing until I get it done. Okay, now let me explain a few things. Doing my research on this very same ship, came across a couple of things. This should be vertical, this should be vertical, and they are, and you can see they almost line up perfectly and down here and down here they do okay this should be horizontal to this vertical there should be a 90 degree angle between this and this there is not that's a slight disappointment okay now this piece right here is the reason that's not 90 it's too long so what I should have done is cut the pin off this piece and slid it forward and had it join up a little further but doing that messes up the alignment here so I would have had to cut a section out of this thing and re-sculpt part of it to get it to line up properly to get this to be a 90 degree angle right here instead of the probably about 87 degree angle it is 85 degree angle okay second parts don't fit together well on this thing they just don't I think it's gonna look good when it's done that's beside the point. Here, let me show you one example of what I mean by parts don't fit well. 
I've only got four pieces left to this model. Okay. I've been doing a lot of work on it too, and there's four pieces left. If I had a plastic model with only like ten pieces, that would have been done in like an hour. This thing's not plastic. It's a garage kit for sure. Okay. Here's one of the remaining four pieces. Here's the other of the remaining four pieces. Okay. Now I'm going to consult the directions real quick just to show you guys something. Alright. Yeah, let's consult the directions because the picture's a little bit better there. I mean, for a garage kit, this had wonderful directions. Alliance did that, and I've got a couple of Alliance's other models, and they're nice. I don't know what's up with this one. This one, I think, was probably rushed. Alright, here's the dire part of the directions that I'm concerned with because I'm all actually on those parts. One thing they tell you to do is drill that hole after you put the stabilizer, well, you drill the hole last. They tell you to put these parts on before you put the stabilizers on. These parts are pretty thin right here in the center, and that worries me. Okay? And from the looks of it, the parts go like this. Yes, can you see what the problem is? That ain't gonna fit. It's just not. So there's an alignment issue there. Okay? I'm gonna have to do some cutting to get this to fit with my razor saw. This is what I've been faced with with this entire kit. The one on the other side, same deal. You can tell they're a different part because this has got some flash in a different place. Well, actually, you can tell right here the parts are identical. Okay, so this is not the greatest of kits, but it's very rare. It's a very unique kit. I mean, how many people have a model like this with a built-in handle that looks like a gun? Bang, 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 bang. Not many. I think she's going to look really nice when she's done, but that's beside the point. I don't think it's a really good kit because it's, it's got some issues. Another issue I've discovered, and I'm trying to decide what to do, I completely forgot about it, is inside there. Let's see if we can get a better zoom on it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Maybe adjust the lighting a bit so we get the lighting on it. Yeah, where that pen goes in, there's a nice gap right in there. And getting to that gap and trying to fix it is going to be a royal, royal pain. The other side came out pretty good, but this side's got a good gap in there. I may try to fix that this weekend with some Aves. No promises, though. I'm getting kind of tired of this kit. I want to see her done. I want to get working on other kits. I know some of you want me to get working on other kits. So, yep, she's getting real close. And I just wanted to talk about the kit. And I'm going to start putting ratings at the end of the videos. You know, difficulty levels and things like that. So anyhow, guys, I'll be back later. Hope you enjoyed that short segment. I'm about to sit down and start sand wet sanding those um, areas where I put the Mr. Uh, surfacer. So I can see what needs to be fixed on it yet. I really want to get the rest of it assembled by this coming weekend. Alright, talk to you later. Well... First result, no, not first. Here's the result of the second round of finishing sanding. Um, ew. Hey, I completely missed the spot sanding right there. I still need to do some work. There's some uneven spots here, like right here. Okay, a couple of spots where things aren't working well, right here. I'm gonna have to hit this with a higher, sorry, off camera, right here. I'm going to have to hit that with a higher grade sandpaper than I'm using. Right now I'm using, I think, 1200 grit, 600 grit. Well, it depends on which scale you're looking at and all that. That's 1200 grit or Harbor Freight Tools, which is about 600 grit at your big back box home improvement store. So, wet sanding. Water, doesn't that look good? Yeah, that tells you how much sanding I did on this. Bam! After the first pass, I can still see a few spots that need to be worked. 
I'll be at this for a little bit, probably most of the week, just sanding and fixing that seams, these two big seams. When I'm done, I can put the last two pieces on, some brass guns. Back to laters.